Hold on. Robert. <laughs> it is my birthday. My sister's here. It's been a couple days since I remodeled this room. Still haven't finished that shit. I'll do that eventually. It snowed this morning and it's no longer there, which is nice. <laughs> We've been inside most of the day. Molly made me waffles and now we're gonna go. Am I boring you? <laughs> I want to I wanna go outside because it's nice out finally. I got a raindrop on my nose. I'm going to scrape this table because it's looking real rough. Well, the outside of my cabin could use some love. Molly, are you going to come with me? You look very cozy. Can I make it a bit? <laughs> That's cute. Is it going to be square? No. You can make it square. Okay. That would be an interesting look. Like a... Okay. All right. I'm going to go outside now. <laughs> Cause I just need the time and place to come through I don't think that we can work this out I miss you when you walk into the room But you got to die not by your side Molly, where are you? I'm lonely! Get off of the table! Out! to release the mouse. <laughs> I'm hitching a ride with my sister. It's a good day! Are you okay? She looks a little rattled. Okay, this is my stop. <laughs> Jenna. Jenna did a road trip with me a Today. while ago. Yes. And then met back up with me in Texas. It's our birthday week. It's our birthday. Our birthday. It's love. <laughs> yeah. it's meant um, to be. This is where we had movie night last night. We're about to just play outside. She's collecting birch bark and I'm like raking my dead grass. Am I hoeing it up or are you hoeing it up? Hold up. You're married. Good morning. Um, it's not morning. It's 1.30. My friend Jenna left today. Perception of time is really skewed right now. It's still just so nice out. It's like warm and I decided to finally get dressed. I was uh, raking in my pajamas. And then instead of real clothes, I decided to just uh, get into character, I think. I look like I own a cottage. Time to go do chores while I wait for Papa to bring in the cows. All right, let's go. It is colder in my cabin than it is outside. Oh, the sunshine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been trying to figure out where I was gonna put my hammock because I wanna 
bask in the sun, obviously. Maybe I'll do like a, a hammock chair. This is water, by the way, not wine. I'm not sure how sturdy those posts are. <laughs> I guess we can find out. Look, I'm back, guys. Tis the van. <laughs> You're awfully close to my face. I love that as soon as I put up a hammock, it starts raining. <laughs> it's pretty cute though. As long as that stick would keep holding it away from the rain, stay. It keeps falling. <laughs> Whatever. If it gets wet, it's just gonna dry. Hi. How you doing? Did you bring goldfish up here? Oh. You're stupid cute, you know that? Okay, I'll leave you alone. Good morning. It's morning. It's the next day. Remember I put up my hammock yesterday and I was like, oh, it's so nice out. I'm going to wear a dress. I'm going to be outside in the sunshine. What's going on? I'm highly disappointed in Mother Nature. This is not a good time. This isn't what I, what I call a good time. We're going to put on Christmas music. Carol, let you sing right within your heart. I think I've decided that when I remodel my kitchen, I'm gonna have like a mouse station somewhere where I can keep all of their jars and little towels to wash and clean. And <laughs> since they're my little uh, friends every morning, oh my God, you're cute. I really don't mind them. I know, I know I'm gonna get people saying that they carry diseases and whatnot, but I don't know what else to do. I can't patch up every hole in my cabin. I just can't do it. So we're coexisting. And it's also like having like a little pet every morning. Now we get to release you and then sanitize your jar. You get a little sad. It's very hard to let them go sometimes. <laughs> you are so cute. I uh, had to nurse Matilda back to health this morning. It was very cold and I think she was in the trap like all night. I also have no idea if she's a girl. I just, she looks like a Matilda. But when I found her this morning, she was very nearly dead. I kept the oven on uh, and kind of had her next to it before I started a fire and gave her some snacks. And now she's all better. Look, aren't you? Look at you. She cleaned herself up. She was not moving when I found her this morning. Hey, Matilda. You're free. Oh my god, you're cute. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. See you. <laughs> Dude, go hide. <laughs> we don't need any birds snatching you up. Cool. There we go. Good girl. Bye. Yeah, I'm about to go wash my underwear in the tub because I don't. <laughs> There's just the laundromat seems like a lot of work. I don't know. I'm lazy. Don't have any underwear left. <laughs> really put this off. Whoa! Stay. All right. Anyway, you know I'm just doing things like that. Currently. My room is in shambles because I have a lot of clothing. I wanna just go wash my undies. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm almost out of firewood. That is all I have left. I'm currently burning some. I'm just coming to terms with the fact that I don't have enough firewood to get through April. If I wanna be warm, I've been trying to like really conserve it, which is good, but it's gonna run out and then I'm gonna be SOL. And for those of you who are wondering why I don't just chop my own firewood, you got a seasoned firewood. I don't have seasoned wood here because if I burn wood that I just chopped down. It's a good way to build up creosote in your chimney and then you get a chimney fire. I will be chopping wood at some point. I just, you know, life is a mess. I'm working on it. Anyway, I'm gonna call the guy and see if they can drop off some firewood today. Remember how I said I was gonna go wash my underwear in the tub? I didn't do that. I'm gonna wash them now, but I don't know where to I think I'm gonna have to rig up a string or something above the sink so that they have somewhere to dry. What is my life? Very strange. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... 
I'll just be here washing my underwear. But I was reminded just now of a story, not a story. It's just, um, so I lived in Hong Kong at one point. The apartments were really small and I, this is reminding me that I used to literally wash my clothes in the shower with me because I didn't have, I just didn't have any money <laughs> at all. My apartment was probably the size of this bathroom. It was like super tiny, which is very normal, but mine was particularly tiny. Yeah, the bathroom was a sink and a toilet and then a shower head over both of those. So like everything would get wet. It was like a wet room, basically. I would grab my laundry and take it in the shower with me. Like I would be showering and then I just, because like everything in that room would get wet. So I'd just be like, whatever, let's just do this. Uh, so I would shower myself and I would just be doing my laundry in the water in the shower And then I would hang dry everything around my little teeny 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 tiny apartment It's like all hanging over my bed and if you've ever been to Hong Kong in July You will know it's kind of like the worst humidity. It's the worst humidity I've ever experienced my apartment's air conditioner just didn't work very unreliable so i it was so humid in there already and then on laundry day it was even worse because it was just basically all this like water condensation from doing laundry in my shower that was just like it was <laughs> it was so hot and humid so anyway no stranger to hand washing laundry but I didn't think it was so So I would, I would love feedback <laughs> on my underwear washing. No, um, I, <laughs> I would love feedback if you guys are interested in this kind of daily stuff that I'm doing. I wasn't really, uh, I don't really know what to film. It was mostly projects last year I and mean, I did stuff like this plenty, but I just feel like it's normal life and I wasn't sure if that stuff people want to watch. People want to watch, but if it's interesting to you, I forget that it's not everybody's life, you know? Like, I know people live like this, and I'm living like this, but, you know, like, is is this something you guys are interested in seeing? Because this stuff happens all the time. They gotta do all this stuff every day, all the time. It's part of life, so. You let me know if you find this entertaining. I have music on me without a mind. Why am I such a sucker for a fuck? rake it's nice out i've been doing a lot of raking lately i'm sorry it's so nice out though also i found like a weird thing over here also my neighbor boy is coming over he's gonna help me rake earth day feels like the right thing to do i don't know what that is i just found it we'll explore it later
I've never wanted to be hydrated so bad. <laughs> we I could want... get a communal cat. Maybe, but I'm telling you, the fishers gonna eat that fucker right up. I, I still don't believe in fishers. Like, you just have to find a cat that like can fight. Or one that just knows the boundaries. That's true. And bulls That's true. Bulls at the house and it's. <laughs> and what the they're... fuck does bull mean? Like chill. Bull. Bull. B o o l. Yeah. See that like so chill. much, and I feel like such a boomer. No, no, <laughs> I'm like, no, no, no. What is no, no, this lingo? Don't. Bull. I've never heard that. Not even on the internet. Really? Bull originally was another way to pronounce cool amongst members of the notorious LA street gang, the Bloods. Are you gonna leave soon? No, I'm gonna bull for a while and then head out later. Oh, wait, it goes off this way too. What? Put your mind to it. There should be. If you put your mind to it, there. Could... Yeah. Next year in the dictionary, just add a word. <laughs> It really is. <laughs> this is Jake, by the way. All of my friends say, girl, you better take care. Cause that man is trouble, you best be aware. And go it down, I know I might be headed to take it down. Welcome back, this is my channel. My name is Hannah. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, this is Joey. This is like one of my best friends. I mean, Hi I, there. How long have I known you? Sixth grade, right? I think kindergarten. I, I only remember, I don't remember sixth so. grade. Probably knew um, each other. Yeah, I think so. But he is the adult. We're going to the park right now because he's here for the weekend and we're going to celebrate because tell him about it. I'm so fucking proud of you. This is the Jogo. Something I made with a buddy of mine to straw to you brew and drink coffee all in the same mug all you gotta do is throw your grounds in your mug add hot water pop in your jogo and enjoy he invented on a canoe trip put it on kickstarter like 10 days ago and we're about to cross over 100k uh, 1000 percent funded you're probably over it by now i'm just not letting you look at it until we get to the park to celebrate also it's snowing again <laughs> rain this morning and it really was I'm never gonna get rid of it. <laughs> Anything you say, Canon, will be put in the video. <laughs> 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 like Joey's worrying about his appearance right now. <laughs> Maybe we would have picked a different outfit. <laughs> I don't come here often enough. That's. <laughs> I wish I could do that. I always try to do that. And I look so ridiculous. I look really cool. You look like an elf. <laughs> you climb this? Yeah, I went like way, way up there. Dude, this is so... this is the perfect climbing tree, isn't it? Oh my it? god, this thing must be so old. <laughs> wow. No swimming? Okay, this is a good place. <laughs> I think it's time for coffee. It ain't instant coffee, that's all I'm saying. You like it strong? We're gonna make this thing strong, get going today. Carpe diem. <laughs> Carpe that diem. I feel like Gandalf smoking his pipe. Or, no, you can't make a pot of coffee. You make individual cups of coffee. Get some hot water and 
everybody can make it their own way, their own strength, yeah. their own light, like, rose, dark rose, decaf. You always have like so much extra, you know, or like, and then you yeah. have to toss it out. You know? <laughs> oh my god, I so do that every it. single day. Yep. It really, I really think I'm gonna drink like eight cups. Of <laughs> you just have like your pot of water that you make it. Yeah. Pour a little into your cup, and you have that water stuff mac and cheese. But then you can just make your mac and cheese, like or whatever you're making in that. That felt oddly targeted. Yeah. Your I, pot of noodles that you always of... eat. Because <laughs> <laughs> I love to pair mac and cheese and coffee. <laughs> this is a nice little swimming spot. Uh, yeah, I think one that summer. This is gonna be a morning routine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. 100k! <laughs> 200 <laughs> Whoa. Well, we're down to uh, our dregs. Since we've been here, I think you've gained like another thousand dollars on Kickstarter, haven't you? <laughs> like oh insanity. And just crazy. I am so grateful. <laughs> Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work we go. Da -da -dun -dun. Oh, this is really hard uphill. <laughs> Neither of us have worked out in a while. Hey, whoa, boy, simmer on down the notch. Anybody making you watch? We get my forget you on. If anyone sees this, it's from my stove. We're um, a little bit on a, we're on a timeout. Socks have fallen down. Oh.